we'll be talking about cable modeling in FICO. So that will mainly cover all the features uh, and the solvers that we have in FICO um, and also the workflow of modeling cables in FICO. We all know that cables have a major impact on um, the susceptibility and emissions performance of complex systems and often due to shortened uh, design cycles, there is not enough time left to perform extensive measurements. However, it is essential to take into account the coupling effects uh, involving multiple cables into the design process. So to make the whole cable design and analysis process easy, FICO comes with a fully integrated cable modeling analysis tool. So the integrated cable modeling tool um, has various features that can help the users in easily designing and analyzing different types of cables. So the users can define the paths to route the cable. The points where the cable is uh, routed can be defined manually, or you also have the option of importing the cable route using a KBL file, or one can also import points from, let's say, um, an ASCII file, or a NASTRAN file. So there are also a series of supported cable types. Um, as you can see here, we have a couple of options like the single conductor, coaxial cable, a ribbon twisted pair, non-conducting elements, as well as cable bundles. So you can also add shields to your cables, both single and double layer shields are supported. And on top of that, um, the users can also specify shield properties either manually um, or you can also customize the shields based on your requirements. And within the same model, you can create multiple harnesses in FICO and each of these harnesses, they can have a collection of cables, um, connectors as well as probes inside the same cable harness and each of the cable harnesses that you design in FICO they can have their own separate schematic view um, so the schematic view is the uh, uh, view that allows the users to load or excite their cables or connect them to spice circuits so these are all the different types of components that are offered in FICO if you want to connect them to um, uh, to your cables, you can add these to the circuit schematic and uh, build your models from there. So when it comes to cable solution methods, there are two main methods um, that are available in FICO. The first one that we have is the multi-conductor transmission line method or the MTL solution method. Uh, a couple of things to keep in mind when using the MTL method, the current return path has to be directly beneath the harness that you're designing and the cable must be electrically close to the ground reference. Um, it creates a distributed parameter network model and you can calculate external fields uh, with method of moments, MLFMM and other solvers. So apart from the MTL solver, we also have a combination uh, solver, which is the combined method of moments and MTL solver. This is mainly used for shielded cable uh, problems, shielded cable bundles uh, or single core uh, cables. With this method, the cable path, it can be arbitrary. So this overcomes uh, the distance limitation of MTL. And with the combined MOM MTL method, uh, you can also have gaps in your conductive plane. So if you look at the example on the right, uh, we have a simple monopole antenna that is placed onto a ground plane. So a problem like this can be easily solved with the MTL method. But let's say with the same problem, if you had like a small gap in the conductive plane that is below um, your cable or your wire, in those cases, you can use the combined method of moments and MTL solver um, since that is a limitation of the MTL. 
with the combined solver as well, the endpoints have to be connected to a metal structure. So they can be connected to uh, any metallic structure that is close to the connector points in your uh, 3D model. So why do we usually um, go for MTL, which is the multi-conductor yeah. transmission line uh, solution method, because it is an effective modeling uh, tool. It can effectively model fine details of cables in a larger system. Uh, it divides the cable into several small pieces along its path. And for each of the small pieces that it divides uh, the cable into, uh, there is an RLCG network with the equivalent parameters that is assigned to the cable cross section. And it solves the cables with a spice solver, which is very fast. We'll look at one example uh, that compares the two solvers where you can see how fast the MTL uh, solver method is. So a little bit about the workflow uh, of uh, cable analysis in FICO. So it's a very simple uh, and easy process to actually design your cables in FICO. The, we start by defining uh, the cable path and defining the cable type, which is the cross section of the cable. Um, the cross section of the cable can be anyone from what we've discussed before, like the definitions that are um, these are all the predefined definitions that we have in FICO. So you can design, uh, sorry, you can define whatever cable cross section you would like, and you can also define the cable shield. So the shield properties, again, you can customize it according to your uh, requirements. Once you have that, the next part is to actually design your harness. So you can add harnesses and you can set your solution methods uh, in FICO. So you can either go for the MTL solver or you can go for the uh, MOM MTL solver based on what is appropriate for your model. And you can also set the cable mode. So you can either have a cable that is radiating or you can um, have a victim cable and analyze the irradiation. You then connect the connectors uh, to the ends of the cable and you specify the cable instance. So cable instance is nothing but routing the signals between the connector pins once you've uh, defined the connector. So once your harness is set and your definition is set, you can go ahead and define any kind of circuit elements. It can be um, anything from the components, any of the passive elements that we have in the component ribbon here. Um, you can ground the cables and add the cable ports and build your own circuit that can connect to the cables. And once that is done, um, the last step is to define what you'd like out of uh, the cable model. So you can add requests uh, to analyze fields or you can add cable probes uh, to analyze, let's say, voltages or currents across your cable. So here um, we have a very simple validation problem of uh, an RG58 coaxial cable above a ground plane. So we have two scenarios, one where we have a continuous ground plane and in the other scenario we have uh, the ground plane but with a small gap. So since this method uh, separates the ground structures into two parts, it restricts the usage of MTL technique. But to overcome that, we have the combined uh, MOM MTL technique. So if we look at the validation results, um, the yellow trace here represents the measurement and the red trace uh, represents the FICO simulation. And we can see that there is a very good correlation between the measurement and the FICO simulation results. So in a similar way, you can uh, design any kind of complex antenna, uh, sorry, complex cable systems, um, and that can be easily solved in FICO. So I hope that gives you a little insight about the cable modeling tool that we have in FICO and also the workflow that we follow um, to build and analyze these cables.